Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, uh, this video is about uh, the language of the market. Okay, in the previous video, we were talking to you about the language of the price, and we hope uh, uh, you understood uh, once and for all uh, the language of the price. In this video, we will talk to you about the language of the market. Okay, now what's the difference? Okay. The language of the market, we know the market patterns are trend, post trend. The price will trend to the upside, the price can trend to the downside, and the price can go into a consolidation. These are a market pattern. This is about the language of the market. The market will go up, the market will go down, and the market will consolidate. Okay? It's just simple. Okay, this is about the language of the price. Looking at this 30 minute chart of uh, uh, the crazy currency pair, the USD yen currency pair. Okay, even though we are using currency pair, this video is about trading, so it's valid for those of you who are using stock, using a uh, commodity, trading crude oil, uh, you trading uh, silver, trading gold. This uh, video is excellent video about the language. Of the market, okay. Here, what is the what the what the market is telling us? Consider this as the market, okay. What the market is telling us, okay, is consolidating, okay. It's just simple. So the first thing that you need to understand is to understand the language of the price and the language of the market. The mark, the language of the market is very important. That's the first thing you must understand. The first thing that you must understand is the language of the price. If you fail to understand the language of the price, you are likely to make mistake. Very important. Sometimes traders uh, will send us email. They will ask some question, but sometimes we we put some trader very high. But uh, I mean, uh, I'm not saying that all the traders are at the same levels. Okay, but traders are at, uh, they are at a different level and they go to diff different stages. Okay, I will talk about that in another video about the stages that traders go through. And um, we can perfectly understand uh, the behavior of uh, a trader quickly and uh, what they are going through. Uh, we don't need to ask the trader too much question. We can perfectly know straight away what the trader is going through. But uh, there is no need uh, to feel uh, low or feel uh, discouraged about it because myself, I've been through it. That's how I understand clearly what is going on. Why are we doing this video? We are doing this video to assist traders so that they, they start okay, and making excellent decisions. Okay? So the language of the market is so important that the first thing that you check, that's what we say. When you come to the market, you say, what do we have here? We said it before. We are saying it again. So try to do it. Do not <laughs> just come into the market and do things anyhow. So you come to the market, you look at the price that is, okay, something like this. It doesn't matter whether you're on the 30 minute chart, you're on the hourly chart, you're on the four hour chart, you're on the two hour chart, you're on the daily chart, you're on the quarterly chart. It doesn't matter. The market pattern, okay, is universal language. You can see the market pattern on the five minute chart, on the one minute chart, on the three minute chart. The market pattern is the universal language, okay? The price will trend in a volatility period, displaying higher lows and higher highs. The price will go down in volatility periods, going displaying a lower lows and lower lower highs. And there is a consolidation period. When you look at this uh, 30 minute chart of the crazy currency pair, the USD yen currency pair, what the market is telling us, we are in a consolidation. It's just simple. If you if you come like this and you fail to notice that and you start placing trade or taking signal anyhow without knowing, okay, uh, the, the the market pattern, you are likely to make a mistake. <laughs> this is one of the biggest mistakes I have made myself. That's how that I know it. And when we are talking about it, we are serious about it. So somebody, you come into this, uh, you look at this uh, chart. It doesn't matter which time frame you are on with an hourly chart, two hour chart, like I said, it's a universal language of the market. So now that's it. Once I, I come and I know the first question that I ask is what the market is telling us. So the market is consolidating. That's what I see here. I don't see the, the, the trending. it trending. It, it's consolidating. It, I cannot deny it. Okay? It's just simple. Okay? So from here, you can perfectly start making excellent decisions because you know that 
is not a training yet. So if you want to go into training mode, at least you must break these skill levels. Okay? You must break it and go above it and display a higher, a low at least. Okay? This is it. So it's not training right now. It's in a consolidation mode. That's why you see traders, they sold it here. They drop it all the way here. It came back to the same zone again. People sell it again. Same zone. People are selling each time. This uh, crazy currency pair is coming near the eight eight two zero zero zone up to eight two uh, two zero. Traders are selling. They are just doing it, no stop, because they, they understand the language of the market, because they know that this <laughs> this uh, crazy currency pair is not trending yet. So people are selling each time the price is coming here, and traders are buying in this zone here. So you see here, it touched here, went up. Touch here went up, touch here. You see, so if but if you fail to understand that the, the language of the market in this particular case, you are likely to make a mistake. The price is start speaking a bit of a different language because it, you can perfectly also draw a trend line here. You can see that even though it's in a consolidation period, we are seeing a kind of uh, a higher lows here. So you will pay attention to that. This is a Paying attention to the higher low, this is about the language of the price itself. But when you are starting to trade, if you're going to start trading, you must consider, the first thing that you must consider is the language of the market. Okay. So first we look at the market and then we try to understand what the price itself is telling us. So you see this trend here, we can leave it here and we know that we are in this box. As far as we remain in this box, in this zone of, uh, uh, from this level of uh, 8177 up to, uh, call it 8216, okay, we call this a consolidation zone, okay. So, but we can see also, looking at the language of the price itself, the price, it, it, we are seeing a higher lows being formed during that time, okay. But the language of the market will precede, okay, the language of the price, okay, or the language of uh, the market will control the language of the price. Very important. The same thing is it's also stable data. So, like we told you before, the higher time frame commands the lower time frame. Same thing, the market pattern control, okay, the price pattern or the language of the price. So if you are using a trending method in a consolidation period, it means that you are trying to, to inverse the stable data, which means the, the market pattern should control the price pattern. But you start applying the trending method in a consolidation time where the market pattern is telling you that no, the price is not going far this time. Okay? But that's why traders are making mistakes. So you must. So Doing it properly is about understanding the language of the market and the language of the price and understanding the relationship between the language of the market and the language of the price. So the market, the language of the market dominates the language of the price, so to speak. Okay. So the market pattern controls the price pattern. Okay. So, so to speak also. So if you, if you do it properly, you don't want a professional, if a surgeon is going to operate somebody, there are procedures that they follow. There are rules that they follow. There are some preparation that they do. As a trader also, you will do the same thing because this is what the professionals are doing all the time. They, they know straight away. Some traders, they are specialists of uh, uh, consolidation uh, trades. That's what they are looking for. They, they go on uh, Dow Jones uh, 13. They go on Nasdaq 100. They look for stocks that are consolidated because these people, they know that uh, as far they are concerned, they, they, they are specialists of uh, consolidation trades. So they look for stocks that are consolidating and they are trading them. In fact, uh, the banks trade the consolidation uh, stocks. That's why they are busy trading because they prefer low volatility. These people are dealing with uh, a huge amount of money and they are not prepared to risk it when the market is uh, volatile. So they, they choose carefully their candidate. So you can perfectly decide to become a specialist of uh, consolidated uh, uh, financial instrument going on uh, uh, doing your scan for 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 stock that are consolidating during the consolidating period you will see the moving average will be horizontal stuck together and bolija band can be perfectly squeezed sometimes the bolija band can be wide open but the size of the candle can tell you straight away that the price in fact was consolidating which means the, the bolija band was a bit late to the volatility to, to reflect okay uh, the, the, the the decrease of the volatility okay so this is about the language of the price and I hope you understand what we are trying to explain here that you will put into practice in order 
to cream the market consistently. Thank you for watching and uh, we will speak to you uh, very shortly. We are the TSTWSYS08 traders. Thank you for watching.